So Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 Reloaded just got revealed officially from a blog posted by the Call of Duty team, detailing the new Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer and zombies content, as well as a new set of items in Warzone in Season 1 Reloaded. Today we're breaking down what you need to know, so as we go along, drop your thoughts. You like the look of this seasonal refresh with Season 1 Reloaded in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone? Maybe not. Whatever the case, drop your thoughts. But if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and consider subscribing to stay up to date with all things Modern Warfare 3, Warzone, X Defiant, and other FPS content here on the channel. And finally, make sure to use code ESPRESSO for up to 30% off your entire order of G Fuel, but for now, let's jump into it. So some of this we've known about, some is more newer and up-to-date information, and some is just brand new stuff altogether. But let's start with multiplayer. Like we've talked about, the first thing up on deck in terms of content is the map of Rio. This is going to be a 6v6 map, and one we've already showcased here on the channel, ended up getting a hands-on experience with it at Sledgehammer Studio pre-season one for the debut of everything with that. So had about a game of playtime on that map, not a whole ton, but enough to showcase the map a little bit. From what was on offer, it seemed like it was one of those things that was a jack of all trades map. You had close quarters, long range, and medium range engagements all in one. The long range engagements on the side sight lines, the middle being something that's more SMG and maybe AR focused in a sort of close range, but then you have those corridors connecting the outside and the inside. That's great for like shotgun play. So you had a bit of everything here at that one. That's going to be coming with season one reloaded. We have the new modes of team gunfight, headquarters, and infected. Team gunfight being the gunfight on a larger scale played on the traditional 6v6 maps, but still in those gunfight parameters, but with teams of six rather than teams of two. So you still have one life, you still have no health regeneration, and it's one of those things that, again, first team to be eliminated wins that round. Headquarters, you have to secure the headquarters objective and then hold the position for as long as possible to gain those points. Respawning is disabled once captured, and then the enemies have to clear you out and clear the headquarters for the match to reset at a different headquarters and then respawning to be back to normal. And then finally, infected, well, we just saw infected with the holiday infected. So this is now going to be a more sort of permanent or regular version of this. Beyond that, we had more details on the weapons of the HRM-9 and the TAC Evolvery, the new SMG and LMG coming within Modern Warfare. Fair 3 here. So those, of course, will be coming. You could play around with that. That's two additional weapons that you can use for like a camo grind or maybe even some weapons that slide into the meta here for Modern Warfare 3 MP or maybe even Warzone. But those will be coming with midseason as well. We also saw detailed the upcoming event after the Vortex and the Magma event of the Boys Soup Siege, where it's going to come along with an LTM, a souped up version of Kill Confirmed, where fallen operators drop doses of Temp V, giving temporary power boosts like Heat Vision to those who end up collecting them. So it seems like those dog tags you'd have to collect are those sort of things that give you a little bit of boost of extra superpowers per se. But the event itself will come along with six different challenges and an overall blueprint reward for mastery, which it's a reward for just simply playing the game. Sure. But kind of a bummer to me, I think that we've been on that kick of camo, 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 and then this, but then also the Santa Slayground event was simply just a blueprint. Won't be using that as much as a camo, but it is what it is. That's going to be coming here at mid season. And the final thing on the multiplayer side, of things is, well, Ranked is going to be coming. Now, we have known about this, but it is officially confirmed now. It was inferred that it would be in-season. Of course, there was no specific date given, but it is something that is now confirmed with the update as of next week and this Season 1 Reloaded launch. So it's not going to be something that comes like a week or two after the update, a week or two before, which would have been already, but you still have the same exact parameters of what we saw last year continuing on with Modern Warfare 3. You have your overall career rank, which will start at rank 1 now at this point. You have your skill to divisions, you have your hot streaks, your SR penalties, wins, losses, you have your modes of search and destroy, hardpoint, control, and all the things that we've come to recognize from last year's ranked play system, it's just now brought over here within Modern Warfare 3. Now, they did detail a little bit of the rewards upcoming, where, as with the last year, you have those sort of seasonal rewards you're going to end up working towards. You have the win five ranked play matches to earn a Modern Warfare 3 Season 1 competitor weapon sticker. 10 wins is the Pro Issue Gutter Knife weapon blueprint. 20 wins is the script writer weapon charm. 30 wins is the built different large decal. 40 wins is the ranked play season one loading screen. And 50 wins is going to get you the season one ranked veteran weapon camo. So definitely nice to have another camo to work towards if you're like me and somebody that loves earning those camos. Probably going to be doing that myself. I can't remember off the top of my head. Was that something that it was 50 wins or was it 100 wins within Modern Warfare 2 ranked play for the camo? I can't remember. But anyways, you still have those same sort of base building blocks towards progressive and better rewards here along the way. But anyways, that'll be coming along with this. But beyond that, you also have these skill division rewards for where you end up placing. Bronze and silver will end up getting an emblem at the end of the season. Gold through crimson will end up giving you a operator skin, weapon charm, and a skill division animated emblem. Iridescent will throw a calling card into 
the addition here with that kind of stuff and then top 250 will get the animated emblem and calling cards for those that finish between 2 and 250 and a special one of a kind for the number one ranked player in the ranked play season zombies is going to have that new warlord to fight if you would like to do so but beyond that not a whole ton in regards to zombies additions here with mid-season which is kind of a bummer but also we have known about this it's not like it's any sort of surprise from the very beginning they were kind of like okay this is what we'll see at mid-season but everything else is up front but that's where we can then jump over into warzone because there is a little bit more of information here that is interesting cool and kind of confusing it's a little bit of a whole mixed bag here at this kind of stuff the first thing though is of course the confirmation of the champion's quest returning that was something that was detailed but now we know what kind of rewards there will be what is going to be different about it and a little bit of stuff that again is interesting with this so the champion's quest is coming back here with this that is going to if you complete it give you the operator skin on screen right now so far it's not known if there's going to be a camo continuing on from what we saw in season five and season six i'm hoping that that's a secret reward they haven't quite detailed just yet and that it's there for anybody that ends up completing it but right now it seems like it might only be that operator skin but the difference here of course not only is the fact that you can steal this if you end up killing a team that is on the champion's quest you can steal it once per match but it's also detailed on this blog post that actually being able to obtain the champion's quest contract is a little bit different now at this point as well because you still have those standard parameters of winning five consecutive matches in a row but also if you end up having 30 games one total on the season it seems like it will show up then for you at that point so if you win 30 matches it kind of sounds like you can go for this every single game beyond that which is absolutely awesome but also kind of weird because like it kind of defeats the whole high stakes purpose of it because you are on that win streak you only have one to four opportunities to complete it but if this is something that if you get 30 wins in a season it's just there every single time we can go for it at any point obviously 30 wins is a lot it is a task and a half for the average player so it isn't something you're going to see this a whole ton but for those grinders this might make it a bit easier to get that nuke contract done if you want to do it so that is something that i kind of like as somebody that whenever we did this we failed so many times that just going for it in the last couple of weeks of like season five when i last did it i think we probably had 30 wins within a couple of days time as is so if that was the case we could just do it every single time we dropped in but again maybe i'm misunderstanding that anyways champions quest coming back the nvg gulag public event is going to be in with season one reloaded this is something we saw at cod next a little bit here but it wasn't introduced into the game just yet but will be so on random occasions you will end up just like having those fully loaded or those money drops or those go again events within the gulag you'll end up having one that is nvg so you'll have your canted site by default because you have your nvgs on and it'll just be a nighttime aesthetic so pretty cool to see that one come into play we'll have the new weapons case being introduced which once found the player holding the weapons case is marked for all enemies in the game to see so if you're playing and you're holding the case the way you end up earning whatever's in it is if you can stay alive at the very end of the match or the squad can exit using the helicopter of the covert exfil which is the next part here with this while we don't have any sort of details on the rewards that'll be something that'll probably have a menu ui item showcasing what is available to extract with come season one reloaded but right now there's no information on it but the secondary win condition of the covert exfil is well there's five of them in the buy station per match overall not just per buy station only five in the entire game and apparently they're at a very steep cost but if you buy it before the gulag closes well you can just simply exfil and leave the match which is i mean it's it's cool for the weapons case sure but like kind of defeats the purpose of a battle royale match you have dmz or extraction shooter elements now within br like does it count as a win at that point i'm assuming not because it mentions that there is going to be a new covert exfil leaderboard stat but it's interesting i mean it seems like it's a weird introduction here that is kind of merging the two gameplay loops but I don't know that's where we're at here at this but anyways that is season one reloaded in a nutshell and what we know of so far for the content coming within next week's update and that is the next thing is the update does launch one week from today january 17th so we'll of course keep you up to date with everything you need to know as more is revealed as the update comes out as new content is coming out whatever the case we got you covered here on the channel but for now 
that's where we're gonna wrap it up before we do though going into the new year here make sure to use code espresso for up to 30 percent off your entire order of g fuel to me g fuel is my cup of coffee in the morning gets my productivity flowing in the day going whether or not you want to grab a restock or pick something up for your very first time you can grab things like the tubs of hype sauce pog juice or even something like a starter kit and code espresso can help you with a nice little discount year round from anywhere from 20 to 30 percent off your entire order personally i'd recommend my team of carnage our flavor of pog juice the pink drip flavor the morbius nectarine flavor starfruit hype sauce and others but do you want to check anything out for yourself check the link in the description below and use code espresso at checkout for that discount but anyways that's gonna wrap it up let me know your thoughts down below what do you think of season one reloaded and what has been revealed so far like it dislike it whatever the case drop your thoughts if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and make sure you subscribe to stay with all things modern warfare 3 warzone and other season one reloaded coverage as well as other fps content here on the channel i'd love to have you but for now thanks so much for watching modest espresso i'll see you later take care and peace